We're asked to find the x value where the maximum value of y equals e to the power of x divided by three minus x squared occurs using Newton's method and the Newton's method calculator provided. And we're told to round to 10 decimal places. Newton's method uses tangent lines to approximate zeros of functions. And we use the formula shown here to make the approximations. In this case though, this problem is a little bit different. We're looking for the location of the maximum value of the given function, not where it's equal to zero. But remember, if the function does have a maximum value, it will occur at a critical number, and critical numbers occur where the derivative is equal to zero or undefined. Which means we will be using y prime for f of x in Newton's method. So let's first write y as y equals e to the power of one third x minus x squared. And again, because we're looking for the critical number where y has a maximum value, we will use y prime for f of x in the Newton's method formula. Well, the derivative of y is equal to e to the power of one third x times one third minus two x, or one third e to the power of one third x minus two x. And then f prime of x in Newton's method will be the derivative of f of x, or the derivative of y prime. And the derivative of one third e to the power of one third x minus two x is one third e to the power of one third x times one third minus two, or one ninth e to the power of one third x minus two. So again, to better understand what's happening here, let's look at the graph on the right. In purple, we have the graph of the original function y equals e to the power of x divided by three minus x squared. And we're looking for the x value where this function has a maximum, which is this location here. But again, Newton's method approximates zeros of functions, and this maximum will occur at a critical number where the derivative function is equal to zero. And I've graphed the derivative function, or y prime, which we're using as f of x in the Newton's method formula here in red. And notice the zero of f of x, or y prime, does give us the location where y has a maximum. So we're using Newton's method to approximate where the derivative function has a zero, which will give us where y has a maximum. The initial approximation can be labeled x sub zero or x sub one. Let's go and use x sub zero. And then using the graph, let's make the initial approximation of 0 0.5. Notice 0 0.5 is close to where f of x or y prime is equal to zero. And then using Newton's method, we will get closer and closer to the real zero of the derivative function or f of x, which again will give us a location where y has a maximum. And again, in this problem, we'll be using the Newton's method calculator provided in more. We won't be performing the calculations by hand. So now going to the Newton's method calculator, we begin by entering f of x, which again is one third e to the power of one third x minus two x. f prime of x is one ninth e to the power of one third x minus two. We're using 0 0.5 as the initial approximation. Now because we're looking for the answer to 10 decimal places, we are going to run the calculator until we get the same approximation rounded to 10 decimal places. So let's let n equals six, meaning we will run six iterations of Newton's method. And then we scroll down and click submit. And if we scroll down again, we have our six approximations. And notice the last four are the same all the way out to all the decimal places provided. And again, we're asked to round to 10 decimal places. So notice the zero here is in the 10th decimal place. Because we have a four to the right, we round down to 0 0.17678309910. Let's go ahead and record this. So the location where y equals e to the power of x divided by three minus x squared has a maximum value to 10 decimal places is x is approximately 0 0.17678309910. Before we go, let's take a look at this graphically. Now the graph is only going to show our solution to three decimal places, but we use Newton's method to approximate the zero of the derivative function, which is this point here, the x-intercept of the red curve, 
which is the derivative of the given function graphed in purple. And notice how this does give us a location where the original function does have a maximum function value, which we can see here is approximately 1.029. But again, our question was to find the location, which we can see here to three decimal places is approximately 0 0.177. I hope you found this helpful.